Hi, I'm Chrissy Beth Cooper, and I'm a photographer with the Sony Alpha Collective based in New York. I'm here today with Adorama to talk about the brand new Sony Xperia Pro I. The I stands for imaging, and rightly so. This phone really hones in on the most important part of photography, which is capturing light. If a Sony RX100 and a phone had a baby, that would be the Xperia Pro I mobile phone. Once again, Sony is proving that they're not making smartphones for the masses. They're making them specifically for the creators. While other brands are out there trying to get us to compare megapixels, Sony is focusing on what really affects image quality, the sensor size. The image sensor on this phone is a full inch. Compare that to most mobile phones whose sensors are about one centimeter. It's a huge difference. And sometimes, size matters. Bigger sensors capture more light. As a result, the Xperia Pro I has fantastic dynamic range, low light capability, and depth of field. Check out this shot I was able to get handheld from before sunrise at the Empire State Building. True to the Xperia tradition, Photography Pro gives us a full range of control over settings like shutter speed, ISO, white balance, and now even aperture. In this photo, I wanted to capture the sharp contrast of the repeating lines of the Oculus ribs while giving the evening commuters a dreamlike quality. So I had to let in a fair amount of light, but slowly. I manually adjusted to an f4.0, ISO 100, and the shutter speed to about half a second. A different smartphone would have tried to correct the blur that I was trying to achieve. I really like how this one came out, and I don't think it would have been possible with another phone. On the display side of the device, there's a 6.5 inch 4K OLED screen, which is very useful for viewing and editing on the fly. It's the same one that the Xperia One Mark III has. So enough said there. The other thing I've always really liked about the Xperia line is their thoughtful attention to detail. The embossed shutter button makes it easy to find with your finger as you're pulling it out of a pocket. Holding it down opens up Photography Pro even when the phone is locked so you're not wasting valuable seconds. They've also added a dedicated round video button. Additionally, though it seems silly to mention when there's so much incredible tech packed into this device, something I really appreciated was the eyelet for a wrist strap. It keeps the phone handy while I'm walking around and secure when I'm leaning over a ledge for that photo. It makes a difference to me because it just shows that Sony is really in tune with how their creators are using their devices. I watched the launch of a new phone recently, and the majority of the talk was around machine learning and computational imaging that would automatically mold photos into a mainstream definition of attractive. There's nothing wrong with that approach, but it struck me how different the Sony mindset is. They seem to be hardware forward rather than software forward. They give creators the raw tools they need to push the limits, not stay within them. If you have any questions, check it out on adorama.com.